courses you your field is uh, a battery electrochemical battery storage like right? you're working in that field yeah currently it is sir yeah like uh, uh, what you're working in this field means uh, some that is the idea about this field uh i am working rather i would say it's a very abstract topic as of now the reason for that is because i am looking into new materials chemistry new materials chemistry that is different cathode materials or different anode materials or different electrolyte compositions which have not yet been experimentally validated or looked into and the reason why i'm saying experimentally validated is because you can easily do simulations with the current state of the art that are there you can easily do simulations to identify suitable candidates but based on my personal experience the candidates which have been screened by computational modeling might not be a very good uh, material which can be experimentally realized into in the lab or in a particular industry industrial scenario so i jumped directly into the experimental scenario so i'm looking into very different kind of materials which are not being used or which do not which are actually not which won't be used in near future as well in this field but the reason why i chose such a abstract topic on such different materials than what are being conventionally used is because they are the most they are the they are the best dummy materials to do the studies on fundamental studies on because the problems that you will encounter with these materials are you can easily generate solutions over them and you can easily translate it translate them into the real life real life materials which are being used in the batteries for example one of the materials that i'm look investigating into are the vanadium based cathode compounds so they were one of they were being investigated back in 1980s 1970s but somehow nobody decided to use it because they had a lot of problems lots of issues in this thing so everyone then switched to nickel manganese and cobalt based compounds altogether and people are doing research over there only people are coming up with different hypotheses that this might be the problem or this might be the problem or this might be the problem x y z but there is no but what i feel after 5 years of research is that there is no concrete answer as to what is the problem everything is boiling down into some point of like okay this is a problem but this might also be the problem it's like the second like abstract thing which is going on currently in the battery field as well the like people are unable to pinpoint the problem so that's the reason why i chose a material which was discarded back in 1970s 1980s only because while studying those problems on those materials whatever solutions i can come up with that could be that can be easily translated can be easily translated into the real life systems as well so this was the main idea behind the work that i am doing that choose a material which has been discarded already people might not accept it as of now as well but who knows whatever solution you come up with that might just click with the real life system that people have people are accepting right now so it's a it's a bit unconventional as compared to what other researchers do in my field that they take the material that is already well established and then boost that material's performance i rather decided to choose a material that has been discarded altogether and work on that all right it's a it's a very rare thing to yeah. do yeah so it's a bit risky it's a very risky thing i have i really have a lot of really face a lot of hardships publishing my work yeah. because every time it boils down that this is yeah this is what has been discarded altogether but then if you look at the trend i'm also hopeful because if you look at the trend right now people are coming back to the systems that have already been developed back in the 80s and 60s 60s 70s 80s yeah, it's a whole for cycle. example you are yeah the people are coming back to that whole the thing whole cycle altogether. is going on yeah because they know that yeah whatever you discarded maybe it's time to look back at what where we made the mistake 